Today is day 10. Day 10 of my 10 day detox and wellness journey. Q4 2023 here in San Rafael, California. What started out as, oh yeah, I'm just gonna clean out my system, do a little rest and relaxation, you know, after my birthday celebration, drinking tequila and mezcal in Mexico, really turned into so very much more. I have got 10 things that are positive outcomes from my 10 day detox and wellness journey and I wanna share them with you. Ready, let's go. So number one was the attempt to get complete alignment between mind, body, and soul. Following a very busy summer house sitting and then the uh, 61st birthday celebration with friends in Mexico, I needed to get alignment um, holistic alignment between mind, body, and soul. And I can tell you now that I feel completely everything is in order at this point, at the end of this 10-day period. So that was number one benefit. Total alignment all the way across the board. The second benefit of this 10-day detox period, increased clarity and discernment. We've all got decisions that we need to make, right? Directionally for our lives. And I feel that while I knew where I was going and why I was going there, uh, when I entered into this 10 day period, I feel so much more confident in um, my clarity of thinking and my discernment. So that is another benefit that came from this 10 day detox period. Just being able to clear all the smoke, the clutter, the chatter from all around and focus, hone in on and begin to trust again on a new level, my discernment. Number three would have to be increased motivation. I am even more motivated than I have been in a very long time um, on so many different levels, on a personal level, professionally, um, spiritually. I am motivated to be the best diamond crystal that I can be. So my motivation has increased uh, during this 10 day period and I can't wait to, to reap the rewards of it, to be honest with you. So increased motivation. Along with number three comes number four, and that is greater intentionality. I am being very intentional about the moves that I'm making, how I'm making those moves, and particularly why I'm making those moves. So greater intentionality, understanding that it's a big picture. It's not about one thing or the other necessarily, but how does it fit into the whole picture? Again, a holistic scope of why it is that you're doing what you're doing, being very intentional uh, with your purpose and your execution. That's number four. Number five would be renewed creativity. Yes, I've got some ideas cooking. Some things that have come to me over the past 10 days, some things that have come to me uh, during the night that have, you know, gotten me up out of my sleep. And I'm excited about them. Can you tell? I am really excited about them. You know, more writing. I've always loved to write. But I, I also have some other creative ideas, some creative outlets that I want to begin to explore and some that I want to uh, revisit. So many of you uh, may not know, but you know, at one point I was picking up, um, you know, my art brush, my paintbrush and putting it to canvas. So I don't know what's gonna come out of this renewed creativity, but I know I feel it. I feel it very uh, strongly in um, my soul. So a, re a renewed level of creativity has come out of these 10 days. Number six an abundance of joy and peace. You know, really, we all are looking for joy and peace in our lives, right? And sometimes it can be so elusive. But when you 
posture yourself in gratitude, you will then begin to recognize those things that, you know, bring you joy and support your peace. And so I am coming out of these 10 days with an abundance and overflow of joy and peace in my life. Number seven pretty much piggybacks on number six, but that is an openness to divine favor. You know, my mom and I used to say to one another all the time, favor ain't fair. God decides who he's going to bestow favor upon, and it is simply your job to accept it. So I am open to God's favor over my life, his continued favor. Sometimes, you know, we, we overuse that term, blessed and highly favored. I'm not overusing it when I say that I know that I am truly blessed and highly favored and I am open to more of that divine favor in my life coming out of these 10 days. Number eight, an increased willingness to embrace joy even in uncharted waters. Sometimes life will throw you a twist and you're not sure whether or not uh, when accepting it, there is anything really positive in it for you. But I have learned coming out of these 10 days that I am going to embrace joy. I'm gonna seek the joy in every single opportunity that comes my way. So I am open to joy even in areas that are unexpected and unfamiliar. Number nine, which is putting faith into action, coming out of this with renewed strength to face my fears and my self-doubt head on. I did that with my snorkeling exercise in Mexico and I am committed to continuing to face my fears head on, unapologetically. And number 10, a reaffirmation that I am indeed worthy of a life full of joy, peace, power, and abundance. I need to reaffirm that every once in a while. Sometimes we get off track and life circumstances can, you know, throw us a curveball or two, but I am reaffirming for myself on an everyday basis now that I am indeed worthy. All right, as a recap on the beamer and the crook in my hip. I don't know, the verdict is still out on the benefits of beamer treatments. I'm sure they can't hurt, right? So I wanna think that my vascular system is a little bit healthier than it was before I started the beamer treatments. Um, and yes, the crook in my hip is gone. So I'm feeling holistically wonderful. Thank you for asking. I actually had two bonuses that came out of these uh, 10, 10 days and I wanted to share bonus number one with you. And that is that I am learning to lean into my soft side. I am embracing a true life of ease. I say it a lot on Facebook and in Instagram, uh, but I am leaning into my soft side and allowing ease to be a regular part of my life. You know, sometimes when you're in relationships, you have to pick up um, roles and responsibilities that do not complement your softer side. Well, guess what? I'm embracing softness right now. And the second bonus is simply releasing the negative, releasing anything negative so that I can make room for the exceeding abundant life that I have been promised. So I am purging the negative, good vibes only, positivity a must so that I can lead the life that has been promised. I appreciate you taking this 10 day journey with me on my first video blog. And I hope that it has encouraged you in some shape, form or fashion. Again, thank you so much for being a part of my growth journey and whatever you are doing for your holistic health, wellness, peace and joy. I wish you nothing but peace and blessings.